Sometimes getting the perfect mix in nonlinear media can be a difficult task. So this week we're going to take a look at using sound classes to create a process known as ducking. All right, so we've got a scene set up here and uh, there's not a lot going on visually, but we do have quite a bit going on as far as audio goes. So you'll notice once I hit play that we've actually got background music, uh, we've got some sound effects going on, and we also have a dialogue line uh, that will get triggered uh, once we get close to this character. Uh, you'll notice I've got a trigger box set up here so that as soon as we enter the trigger box, uh, there's a dialogue line. And with all of this stuff going on, it can actually get quite muddy. So I'll give you guys an example of what that sounds like and then we'll dive into setting up the sound classes and the ducking process. Our goal here is to set up the sound classes so that once the dialogue starts, we're actually going to bring the the sound effects and the music down. Uh, that way it'll let our dialogue come through. So this is what it sounds like before we get everything set up. The platoon you're taking over is just ready to start training, and as you may have noticed, our facilities are not all that they might be. We're short of officers, short of equipment, short of everything except trainees, and they're coming in with a cargo. Alright, so you can see that we've got a lot going on. Uh, the explosions I actually have set up on triggers. Uh, I can set those off with the 1, 2, and 3 keys. Uh, that's just how I have it set up. Uh, the dialogue, like I mentioned, is triggered once we enter this box, and then the, the background music just plays. Bonus points in the comments section if you can tell me what movie that dialogue line is from. I will give you a hint. Uh, it's something that I pulled out of the public domain. So think of an older war movie. All right, so now we need to set up uh, our sound classes. Now by default, all the audio in Unreal uh, is routed through the master uh, sound class. So what we wanna do is we wanna break this up so that we have sound classes for all of our different types of audio. All right, so you can see here uh, that we've got some sound files as well as I've already made some sound cues. Uh, we've got our music track, we've got our dialogue track, and then I've got four different explosions that we created a sound cue for. And we've just got these four explosion sounds to trigger randomly. So the first thing we wanna do is we wanna go ahead and set up our sound classes. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna create three sound classes. And we're gonna create one for background music, We're going to create another sound class for our dialogue. And we're going to set up another sound class for our sound effects. And there's a lot of different things that we can do with sound classes, but we'll dive into those in later videos. But now that we've got our three sound classes set up, we want to go through and set each of these uh, sounds to those sound classes. So we'll start with our music track. And uh, if you have audio routed through a sound queue, you have to set the sound class for both the source asset and the sound queue. Otherwise, you'll run into issues. All right, so now that we've got our sound classes set up, uh, we need to make sure that all three of these sound classes are um, what we call children of the master class. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and highlight all three of our sound classes and Uh, if we drag these into uh, our master class, we can go ahead and route these. And 
And so this is just like setting up subgroups. If you were working uh, inside a DAW like Pro Tools or on a mixing console, uh, the master class would be your master fader. And then each of these subclasses would be uh, like one of your group faders. But we're going to go ahead and pull this off to the side for now. And now what we're going to do is we're going to set up a sound mix and we're going to call this ducking. And when we open this up, we can set the parameters of this particular sound mix. So we're going to go down here to sound class effects and we're going to go ahead and add one. And now we need to pick uh, what sound class this mix is going to affect. And so we're going to start off with uh, background music because like I said, once the dialogue starts, we want our background music and our sound effects to to drop in volume. So uh, we've got some settings here that we can play around with just to kind of give you guys an, a solid idea of what's happening. I'm actually going to set this to point two, so it's going to bring it down quite a bit. Then we're going to go ahead and add another one. And since we already did our music, uh, we're also going to do our sound effects. And again, we're going to set that at point two, just so you can hear uh, what's happening. And now we're going to go ahead and pull back in uh, our master group here. This is where things can get kind of confusing. Uh, there's a lot to keep track of especially once you start breaking this down even further. But because we want our dialogue track to be what affects that sound mix, we're gonna go ahead and select our dialogue track. And right here we have the passive sound mix modifiers. We're gonna go ahead and add one of these. And since we've already created the ducking sound mix, we're gonna go ahead and select this. Now from here, you can actually get even further into this um, where you can set like a minimum and maximum threshold. So anything under a certain volume won't actually cause this effect to happen or anything over a certain volume likewise. But we're gonna keep it as default settings for right now. And we're gonna go ahead and minimize this and again, save all of our assets. So now that we have this set up, uh, we're going to jump back into the game and what should happen when we start the level you're going to hear everything at full volume but then as soon as we get into that trigger box for the dialogue line it's going to start this ducking sound mix so you're going to hear the volume of the background music come down and you're going to hear the sound effects come down you're taking over is just ready to start training and as you may have noticed our facilities are not all that they might be we're short of officers short of equipment short of everything except trainees and they're coming in by the carlo so you can hear how uh, that audio came down quite a bit so like i said i wanted to set these to point two just so you guys could actually hear what's happening what we could do from there is we can come in and we might set these to 0 0.4, 0 0.5. Um, and then we can also set our delay time so that it, it fades in more gradually or maybe it doesn't start right away. And these are the parameters that you would set so that your mix sits properly for whatever level you're working on. So I went ahead and set these to 0 0.5, um, fade in. I'm not entirely sure if that's gonna sound right but uh, that's something that we can play around with. The platoon you're taking over is just ready to start training, and as you may have noticed, our facilities are not all that they might be. We're short of officers, short of equipment, short of everything except trainees, and they're coming in by the carload. All right, and you can hear that just changing that by 0.3 milliseconds or 0.3 seconds uh, it has a more natural sound it's not so abrupt and doesn't really pull you out 
uh, of that that kind of in-game immersion. So there's a lot more that you can do with sound classes. Like I said, we'll get into those uh, in later videos. All right, guys, so that's going to wrap it up on using sound classes to create a ducking effect and kind of help your in-game mix. As always, if there's anything you'd like to see in my videos, please feel free to let me know in the comments section. You're also more than welcome to get a hold of me on any one of these social media channels. Don't forget, if you happen to know uh, which movie that dialogue line came from, to drop that below as well. But I do appreciate you tuning in and hanging out. Until next time.